April 2nd, 1941. Things are starting to pick up in the Mediterranean, as there are reports that the Americans have started to join in providing the Allies with supplies. This brings about a new challenge, as American ships are often heavily armed and pack quite a punch. Our orders are to patrol a sector near Malta and attempt to locate American shipping heading towards Allied ports. Should we locate them, our orders are simple. Sink them all. Hey everybody, how you guys doing? My name is Crazy Jester, and welcome back to another episode of U-Boats. And this could start to get pretty exciting for the uh, future episodes, as apparently the Allies, more so the Americans, have started enjoying providing the Allies with much-needed supplies. And as you all know, the Americans oftentimes have quite the uh, quite the punch to them when it comes to their supply ships they are massive freighters and then they usually have quite a few guns on them so that'll provide a new challenge for us which could be exciting and uh hopefully make things not so hello i swear i just saw smokestacks okay well now we gotta go periscope depth and check to see if that was could i where they looked just like smoke sacks up ahead. Go ahead and drop down levels to level one for engine. Let's get a pretty good reading here and see if we can't uh, see if I was acting crazy or if we legitimately have a convo hidden our way. But here's our sector that we have to patrol as we keep an eye out for American shipping, primarily going towards Malta, but they could go towards Alexandria. So it's a possibility we run into them there, but. We might be doing a lot of our patrols right around the CN 34, 37, 35, and 38 squares. We might double dabble over here just, just to check, but we'll uh, primarily focus our area here as this is where Malta is and it's the most likely that the Allied shipping would come straight through the pass here and then right through. And I wasn't crazy. Look at this, small group, six to 13. Moving away from us. Interesting. Well, let's go ahead. Here's our target and go find out who the hell this is, shall we? Okay, well, unfortunately, we've arrived in the area. However, it is it is so pitch black we can't see a bloody thing. So I'm assuming they've already gone to Malta right now. They were riddled with uh, destroyers protecting them, though. so that was a pretty good group, but man, we couldn't find them to save our lives. I looked and looked and looked in the periscope to try and locate a ship, but just too bloody dark here in the Mediterranean. But that's okay, they're going to be back. Now we know they're simply in the area. We're just going to go ahead and pull north here really quick and uh, wait for another one to come, especially at least wait for daytime, because in the night it is absolutely helpless, as you can see. I mean, this is... Here's what we're dealing with when it's nighttime. I mean, you can barely see the wake from the U-boat. And then, <laughs> this is what we get to try and find ships in. So, not the best of uh, conditions. That's okay, though. Well, it's April 3rd now at 1300 hours. And uh, I haven't come across the large group, but we do have some poor sap that's coming into our sights here shortly. Yeah, boy. So at least we'll have a target to take out really quick as it heads towards Malta, but I'd like to find that group. I mean, I'd like to know and confirm whether or not American shipping is bringing supplies to the Allies over here in the Mediterranean, but but we all know that's going to be pretty difficult just due to the sheer vastness of the Mediterranean Sea, so hopefully, though, we get a little lucky. Let's go ahead and try and set up our attacks for this single ship coming our way and uh get some tonnage under our belt shall we one soul ship unfortunate what are you doing out here on your own sir let's go ahead and identify it if we can this is what we want though c3s if we can find them ooh, that's going to be incredible looks like an empire tower that we got right in front of us right now let's go ahead and get a velocity shall we and start. Get that speed here and stop set eight knots. Moving pretty good. We know it's a course of roughly a 90 degree. There we go. And a distance, we'll call it 900 meters. 
Two of one, ready to rock and roll. Depth of two meters. And fire. Let's hope we're looking at our first kill of our 30th mission. And that didn't take very long at all. We completely sheared off the front of the ship. All right, well, that is one Empire Tower down and out. Let's go ahead and get that Empire Reagan, excuse me. Get those values off to the BDU and continue our hunt, shall we? As we know what we are looking for. Here we go, we're getting a steady Staying in the CN-34, we're actually getting a steady amount of ships coming our way, which works out beautifully. As Malta is their only really reason to be in this area, there's no other way. I mean, they don't need to be dibble-dabbling around here as there are no nearby uh, allied bases, so... There we go, that is definitely a British ship right there. Like an Empire Tower. Let's go ahead and recognize it as that. We'll wait for it to get a little bit further and closer to us so we can get a proper velocity here. And we're going to go ahead and change this target and change it to an Empire Explorer. I still say to this day, it must have been somewhat terrifying for anyone. Go ahead and stop, set anyone in a ship like this, cargo or warship. Must have been pretty terrifying at the height of the war when U-boats were such a huge problem before they had all their technologies. I mean, you're just going about your business, and sure enough, here's a U-boat a kilometer away, staring you down, getting its coordinates down, and ready to just rain havoc on you. And you have no idea. You're just going about your normal day. I still hold true that it must have been absolutely nerve-wracking for a lot of the crew members to have to deal with that on a daily basis. Alright, everything is set. Nose. Two meter depth, speed of 40 knots. Get there quick so we can start focusing on target number three. And there we go. Must be... It's not saying serious damage, but it looks like it's losing health pretty steadily right now. Definitely listing. And here we go, incoming from the Empire Peacock, which no doubt is this. Probably signaling to its buddy over here. He's more than likely going to be signaling over here. So let's go ahead and throw our snorkel on. That is another one. Ready to rock and roll. Under the belt, let's start heading towards target number three over here. Get these messages off of the BDU. And here we go, target number three. Heading right towards us. As we have a transport tiny group here, one to three. But it's not moving. I'm not sure if that is a glitch or not. But we already have target number three heading this way. Go ahead and get into position and we'll keep an eye on this tiny group because I'd much rather go for that if we can. But it's not moving, so I'm not sure if that's a again a little bit of a glitch going on there. Go ahead and find target number three here, really quick actually. Let's scout the horizon off to our left over here. I'm not seeing any kind of smokestack or anything like that that would indicate there's a transport around here, so we're gonna go ahead and Stick to the original plan. Focus down target number... Oh my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen. We have one C3, the Empire Peacock, heading our way. Look at this. Absolutely glorious. Why are you on your own? Look at the armament on this thing. Woo! That is one epic ship right there. Well, we did, uh, we wanted one, we asked for one, and damn it, we got one. Hell yes, let's not mess this up. Let's make sure we're getting everything 
ready and perfect. Let's go ahead and increase time compression a little bit so it's a little bit closer. We get a more accurate velocity. Let's work on that velocity now, shall we? Go ahead and start. I mean, we've got dual cannons right at the front there that look unmanned at the moment. And then we've got dual cannons to the rear. I don't see anything on the sides of the ship here for protection, but you know this thing has some epic cargo in it, and it's it's moving. It is definitely moving. Get ready to stop here. Stop. Set. 11 knots. This thing is cruising. Woo! We know it's a course of roughly 90 and a distance... We're gonna call it a distance of right around 1,000 meters. You know, we'll come down a little bit and do 980. 980 meters right there. That's good enough for me. Go ahead and load tube oh, 1 eins, and tubes 2. Oh, zwei, what is the draft? Or the drought, excuse me. 7.3 meters. Oh, eins, We're going to go ahead and go 3.5 meters. Oh, zwei, we'll do 4.5 meters oh, with eins, tube number bebessern. 1. We'll get this thing ready to rock and roll. This is exciting. Our first C3 of the war. Tubes are ready. Go ahead and fire. Nos! Tube one away. And tube two away. Perfect. Get all this nonsense out of the way. So where is this transport then? That's that's the curious thing I have. Is, is it glitched out? Or is there legitimately a transport? Torpedoes are looking great so far. Come on, let's see some good results here. Treffer. There we go. Nice. Schwere Schäden am Rumpf. Treffer. Great spreading. Schwere really Schäden good. Serious damage. Good spreads there. And already you can kind of see the uh, rear of the ship taking on water. It is going down. Front of the ship lifting up over here on fire. Ah, and there goes the HP completely. It is done. Yes! Our first C3 of the game that revitalizes all the excitement yes mediterranean is suddenly worth it and oh my god are these all the uh, supplies that are coming out hell yes that feels damn good look at all those supplies i don't think a single crew member uh, made it off that ship unfortunately though my god empire peacock sunk let's go ahead and get that off to the bdu we will go ahead and surface the boat and forward one please Oh, I take that back. No, the crew members did make it off. That's good. Any captains, though? Enlisted get free rides back. But any officers on board? Nope. No officers made it off this time. And I don't see any of those supplies around here, unfortunately. This is good. We're going to go ahead and continue our journey around this area. Because now we've got the bigger ships rolling through here. Still got plenty of torpedoes and plenty of area that we actually have to get through. So let's go ahead and continue our con patrol, excuse me. And uh, hopefully we'll come across another C3. Alright, well we ventured out a little bit from Grand Harbor just to kind of change the scenery a little bit. And we have found uh, yet again another small group, tiny group, one it's saying. Heading out, but we are nearing the hours of dark. So it might be a little hard to uh, get this one in our sights. We'll see right now. Go ahead and get you on the attack periscope if you aren't already. You are. Yeah, it's already starting to become pretty dark. We might let this one slide if it's nothing too crazy. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of time compression. Get up nice and close, see what we're dealing with. 1830 hours. You know what we could do? If it's nothing too serious, we could hit this with our deck guns. I don't think this is gonna be a big ship. You know what? We're taking the we're risking this. Let's go ahead and raise the boat. Let's go ahead. Do we have our lights? We do have our searchlight. Let's get that activated. And Mr. Kurt Hoffman, I'm gonna need you. Along with two individuals on the uh, deck gun, please. 
Oh, yes. It is pretty cool seeing the, uh, searchlight used properly on this thing. Fly up these ships at night. Get this thing engulfed in flame to start. And then we can start working on the hull. There we go. Are those lifeboats that have come out? It looks like it has. Nice. You know what, actually? Go ahead and go up alongside of this if we can. See if we can't board it. It looks as though it, it has stopped losing health. Let's go ahead and confirm. We'll do a little bit of time compression here. It's definitely... It's definitely stopped. Alright, three interactions. Let's go ahead and... Board. Send a team to the freighter. Absolutely. Select the character. We'll do Mr. Holst Weber, Kurt Hoffman, and Franz. Along with six crewmen. Get them on board. See if we can't find anything vital. And then we'll just scuttle the ship if we need to. View the transport goods. Oh my gosh. Iron ore? Hello. Let's transfer any and all iron ore that we can, that is going to be a little time to transport all goods four days, woo, okay how much to transfer ten iron ore six hours, okay, iron ore can go down I, uh, we don't have the luxury of that kind of time, let's go ahead and plant explosives for the sapper there we go, let's go ahead and reverse, as this ship is sitting right next to us, and there goes the ship under Beautiful. Iron ore, huh? I wonder how much that would have been worth if we took that back. Well, overall, I gotta say, not too bad for uh, this mission. That was... that was pretty good. One thing we do know is that the activity around the Grand Harbor in Malta is picking up significantly, so we can take that intel back uh, to our main base and let Admiralty know, but I didn't see any signs of American shipping coming through with supplies. So, we can also take that back. But certainly an increase in larger cargo ships coming through as we did come across the British C-3 that was armed to the teeth with uh, disgusting cannons. Definitely wouldn't want to try and go head-to-head -head with that thing uh, with a deck gun. But, it's good to know. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and head back to the base and get these guys off on a much-needed vacation and see what Admiralty has in store for us next. Let's get them back home, shall we? All right, and here we are back home. Mr. Karl Heinz Schuster has received the U-boat front clasp in silver in an executive decoration for U-boat force members that recognizes continued valor in combat. It's awarded to crew members that participated in 25 war patrols. Good bloody work, men. And there we go, front clasp for the uh, our captain as well. Look at that, doing pretty good too. That's the. Uh, this is a, a mission three of three for the Battle of Mediterranean, so we're getting closer to that one as well. Not too bad overall. Uh, so total tonnage sunk 26,000. The biggest, of course, being that uh, D3, no doubt, 7,800 uh, gross registered tonnage from them. Great bloody work. And we got to level up. We'll uh, deal with that in the next episode. Go ahead and go to the leading officer and say, my crew... Oh no, they don't need training. They definitely don't need training. They're doing great, but they definitely need a break. Go ahead and send them off to the German Alps. Get them off for a 21-day retreat now that we're here at uh, Italy. And I hope they have an incredible time. So plan going forward is we're going to uh, hit Malta again as it is a target-rich environment right now. And we might shoot back over to the port of Gibraltar if missions allow it. So that's the plan going forward. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. In the meantime, if you have, comment down below. Hit the like button if you enjoyed the episode as it helps me out and helps get this video out to many more. And if you enjoyed what you saw and you want to see more videos on it, please consider subscribing. I'm going to get back at it start making the next video. And until then, I hope you all have an incredible day. Take it easy, okay?